Apple is saying goodbye to leather. We will no longer use leather in any new Apple product, including watch bands. But don't worry because they're replacing it with fine woven and everybody loves it. I really like the leather cases. I definitely would not prefer this over leather, but these fine woven things are not in the same class. I've not had this for hardly any time at all and it already looks like crap. It's got these, like this does not come off. I mean, this product is just completely just garbage compared to everything else. But there's hope because other companies are still making amazing leather Apple Watch bands. And I'm doing a whole mini series on them. So if you're interested in this at all, hit that subscribe button. And we're starting out with a company called Andar. Not to be confused with Andor, the Star Wars guy. Rebellions are built on hope. I had reached out to him a little while ago and they were nice enough to send me three of their full grain oil waxed leather watch bands. Now, I don't know what oil waxed means, but what I can tell you is they look amazing and they smell real good. <sighs> So they do give you two different styles of lugs. All the ones they sent me are the stainless steel. So the match to the Ultra is not perfect, but I'll let you in on a little secret of how to get them to match way closer at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. I gotta say out of all the ones they sent me, this camel tan one is by far my favorite. I just love the way it looks. I love the stitching right here. If you take a look at that, it's on either side of both class and it just looks so good. I'm not seeing too many bands that do that. These are the only bands I believe that I own that do that, but the buckle's great. It comes with like two holders for the watch band itself, just to kind of keep it pinned down. One stays in place and then the other one you can actually move around, but it's easy to take on, easy to take off and it just looks great. It, feels amazing like i mean it's ridiculous how comfortable this band is you can see some of that stitching is also down here by the buckle itself and there's also stitching on the back of the little band holder downy thingy i know there's an official term to that but i like to call it the band holder downy thingy of course that's not it because they also have this dark brown color that looks really good especially on the stainless because you can see the clasp matches perfectly and once again you got those little touches of detail with the stitching they match a little bit better on this one so i, I gotta say like the camel tan is definitely my favorite just because I love this color. I kind of lean towards that saddle brown color and that's probably as close as you're getting with the band offerings. But they offer a total of six different colors for their watch band. You got the camel tan, you got the dark brown, you got the jet black, then you got sand, moss, and navy, the navy looks really good too. I haven't even worn the jet black one yet, just a personal preference, but I know there's a lot of people out there that do like it. If you do like the jet black one, leave a comment down below, just say jet black. With these being full grain leather, these bands will patina after time, which means they will kind of get darker in spots and areas. I love that about leather. I know some of you guys don't like that. Obviously the darker colors you get, the more and less likely you're going to even notice that, but that's what leather does. And that's one of the things that just makes it so cool is because as it patinas, it becomes more unique. So then you have this fully unique for you Apple watch band that just looks great, feels great, and once again, smells great. If you are interested in these bands, there is a link down below that does help out the channel. They are 50 bucks each. $50 for a leather watch band of this quality is really good. And I'm not gonna leave you in the dark. Here's how to make it match the Ultra better. Right here you can see that the stainless steel just does not match that well with the Apple Watch Ultra. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take the band off of the watch. You do wanna pick up one of these. I have a link down below. This is just kind of like a Brillo pad type thing, but this one's meant for repolishing and everything 
with metals. You might could use a regular Brillo pad. I don't really know. I really wouldn't recommend it, but these things are super cheap and the link is down below. Now, if you want to, you could take the screws off and you can get an even better job. I always have problems with stripping out these screws. So I'm not gonna do that right now. All you gotta do is kind of just push the leather all the way over and then just rub on the, the clasp itself. So all you're really doing is just taking the shine out of the stainless steel. The longer you spend on it, the better it will probably look, but you just keep rubbing each side. All that polish is gone and you can notice that it matches just a little bit better. It's not perfect, it's never gonna be perfect, but if you look back at what it used to look like, it really stood out like a sore thumb. That shiny polished stainless steel just really shines compared to what the titanium does. So all you gotta do is just brush it out for just like a couple minutes and there you have it. If you found this video interesting and helpful at all, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm doing a whole mini series on these watch bands. Also, I have the magnetic link ordered. That's the new fine woven version of the leather link from Apple. As soon as it comes in, I'm gonna post a video. I got that thing ordered before anybody else. It'll be right here once that's up. Until then, it's gonna be a leather link video because that's one of my favorite leather bands and I'm really sad that Apple got rid of it. I'll see you all in the next one. God bless.